I'm Sydney and welcome back to my Flock and Squawk. This is part two of a larger video, so if you want to see part one where I start Noxema, talk about some facts, and just see the week one progress, that will be linked below or above. So thank you so much, and let's get into week two. So first off, I've stopped using Noxema completely in the morning because my face has felt it has felt both clean and kind of dry in the morning. So I feel like I'm not like oily or need to rinse my face or anything because my face just doesn't feel like I sweated in the night. But also my lip area is getting really dry. I've had a couple breakouts, but nothing like major enough to make me stop Noxema or think that my breakouts are necessarily caused by Noxema. But the dryness is definitely something that hasn't really occurred with like a CeraVe or my using ponds. So I've stopped using it completely in the morning. If I need to use something then I just use a little CeraVe or just splash my face with cold water and moisturize before like sunscreen. So that's sort of where my morning is and that's I'm filming in the morning, I like literally just got dressed, whatever, made my coffee. But yeah, I'm my face doesn't seem like it's extremely bad or anything, it's just I'm starting to get dry and I have dry skin to begin with, but and I've been moisturizing extra at night to try and help with some of this, like I've been using a little more of the Aquaphor or like Vaseline over top of my moisturizer to help lock it in. I've been using my retinol a little less, or my Differin gel, which is the retinol, a little less, but I'm just, also like, I use the, the Noxema in the shower, and I don't know if it's just me, but the tingling and pleasantness that came from that, it's just not as significant as with what it once was, it doesn't feel as nice to use. It just sort of is like a light tingle, wash it off, then it's like, it just it feels gone. Like the experience doesn't seem as nice as what it did week one, but that's sort of where I'm at and I'm not sure how many more updates I can give other than maybe showing off how my face looks from using the Noxema as my main cleanser, but I really, like you saw in week one, it doesn't really remove makeup that well. I used a tinted sunscreen the other day, and with the tinted sunscreen I could really see that it was absolutely not removing it very well. But it was like a tinted mineral sunscreen and it was not having a good time with it. And then I used a different sunscreen, but I'll a different sunscreen than what I normally do but it wasn't tinted and I could still see like the sunscreen like peeling or pilling up like when you rub your face after you apply sunscreen too vigorously and it kind of like beads up. I was having that happen after I had already cleansed with the Noxema like I was rubbing in my moisturizer and it felt like the sunscreen was pilling up because you could see it. So I'm not sure if like I'm just not using it correctly, but I'm following the instructions, so not quite sure what's going on with removing my sunscreen, And but like in week one you could see that the makeup just wasn't really coming off as nicely as what it would with like ponds. So that being said, I'll give you a close-up of my face, but here currently is the Noxema jar. I've made a pretty solid dent in it definitely a ton more that I'm going to have to figure out how to use up so I'm not wasting it after my 30 days of my face because like I said I'm not really feeling it for my face just sort of maybe if I left it on as more of a mask for a little bit but like that's not really how it's recommended for use and just isn't the most enjoyable like the tingle doesn't feel like the strongest sensation anymore so that that's sort of my thoughts in for week two of using Noxema like I said I'll update you as I see 
any fit, or as I see fit. So here's some close-ups of my face. Howdy, so I'm going to wrap things up with my Noxema. I have been using it for 30 days, and as you might, you know, be able to see, my acne has not gotten worse necessarily. However, I am very shiny today because I have been overcompensating with moisturizer. Noxema I found after the first week, week and a half, it has, it was starting to get very drying and it still feels very drying. So for me, with someone who has dry, sensitive skin to begin with, I don't think it's the right fit. I like the experience of using it, and I found it very enjoyable to use over the 30 days, but I sort of stopped filming the weekly, partly because like it's boring to watch someone apply or wash their face the same way multiple times and I had cut it down to just being at night which means that I was in the shower doing it so I don't really want to film me in the shower every night doing my face or once a week doing my face because it was drying I would wake up and I'd have dry patches along my chin and my eyes we're starting to get dry like in my eyebrow so had to overcompensate with moisturizer today but I like the experience of Noxema the tingly it it's a very nice product from an experience standpoint but from the fact that I had it wasn't really worth it I would rather have my pawns which I know is not going to dry me out well, here's Margaret but or like a Queen Helene where it doesn't have that tingling and it isn't as drying. So with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed my video even though this is sort of a lackluster conclusion. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and please feel free to check out the first part. Feel free to check out whatever else I have. So I hope you all enjoyed this even though it is a lackluster conclusion. And feel free to test out Noxema for yourself. I just, it's not for me, but let me know in the comments how you like it, how it works for you, or it doesn't work for you, because I'd be interested to hear if you had more adverse reactions. So, thank you so much for watching, and let's flock and swock again sometime.